Good morning and welcome to Mac TV. It gives me great pleasure to invite uh, the former uh, Pakistani batsman Shoaib Muhammad. Of course, he's the son of the legendary Hanif Muhammad. And for us here in the West Indies, um, Hanif and Shoaib gave us tremendous headaches. You know, uh, Shoaib uh, would have come to the Caribbean on many occasions and uh, he was difficult to dislodge. Only recently, uh, his name came up in conversation with Sir Kirtley Ambrose and I. Um, but, you know, Shoaib, it, it, it's, it's wonderful to have you on Mac TV. Good morning and uh, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure and a good, very good morning to everyone. Of course, joining us on this interview as well will be our Pakistani correspondent here at Mac TV, Ijaz Ahmed. Not to be confused with the former Pakistani batsman. This Ijaz Ahmed would have dreamt of playing for Pakistan. The other one actually played. Good morning, Ijaz. Uh, good morning, uh, there. And uh, it's just really a privilege to sit on Mac TV and have uh, two one of the best personalities uh, uh, to sit and chat with. Thank you very much. Wonderful indeed. Well, Shoaib, you know, um, we all know about your exploits. We all know what you would have done on the international stage as well. Um, here's a situation where cricket administrator extraordinaire, Mark Qureshi, out of, um, out of Boca Raton in America, formerly of Pakistan, and he is now bringing to Pakistan the, the major cricket league which would see a number of young Pakistani players get an opportunity. Uh, information is that you are the chief selector. Your duty is to ensure that all is fair and all is well, something that you've become known for. Um, are you excited by the prospects of what Mr. Qureshi is bringing to Pakistan? Absolutely. The great passion behind uh, Abzal Qureshi, Matt Qureshi, uh, had uh, been over the number of years. In fact, we were the first ones who brought uh, the international side uh, in 2008 to Bowd County uh, on the request of uh, Mac Qureshi. And, uh, and since then, um, I've been seeing his progress had been absolutely second to none. And in fact, it is, it is a great uh, pleasure to work with him once again. And uh, although this time uh, in a different role though, but um, a role which had been given to me by the Pakistan uh, Cricket Board three times and uh, once I'd been a part of it uh, when the, we won the World Cup 2009 as well. So hopefully uh, I'll, do, I'll try to do the justice and uh, try to bring um, the, the young guns uh, at the forefront where they deserve and try to you know, give them an opportunity uh, in a vast land uh, of uh, the United States of America, where uh, their dreams can come true, hopefully one day. And it's glad I'm, I'm I'm very happy that you brought up that incident where you all came to Fort Lauderdale to Broad County to play and introduce cricket to America at that level. Of course, your team would have been star studded, a team with, that would have had international status. The West Indies team of uh, yesteryear, they were also involved. Um, there were Canadian team. And Mark Qureshi, up until recently, he was reminded me that he had dismissed Richie Richardson. Mark, would, he would tell us that from now until we're not here anymore. He would remind us of that every single day. But, you know, such is the passion of the man, Mark Qureshi. But, you know, so it, it's good to see that these guys, you know, they're in the diaspora and they are still thinking about Pakistan and want to give back. Your thoughts on that? Absolutely. It is, it is a must to have that kind of passion within yourself. And uh, uh, Macaretti is such a genius to have. Uh, it, it has been injected to him. Uh, had he been uh, a player for Pakistan, uh, he would have done wonders. But being away from Pakistan and yet bringing those uh, ideas, concept into back into Pakistan for these cricketers is absolutely... Awesome gesture by him. Uh, a far-fetched thinking, which is uh, uh, a must need for, for these youngsters in today's world, where they can only think of it. But uh, uh, it's hard for them to you know, step into uh, that kind of a shoe to be playing back in the US of A. But uh, it is a, a dream, uh, uh, a platform, Provided by Mac Qureshi, 
that uh, these uh, youngsters can have their uh, future uh, in, you know uh, in a different manner their dreams can come true and uh, one fine day they can either play for the us of a or or the, maybe the pakistan cricket team itself so it is a great opportunity thrown uh, towards uh, these uh, uh, these youngsters by the genius uh, the man himself mr macrish and uh, show you know mac holds you in very high esteem and this is why you know he has installed you in this position as the, as the chief selector you know he was telling me yes just yesterday that regardless of your 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 class your status in pakistan every child must have an opportunity or every player must have an equal opportunity and this is why he has installed you as the lead selector i think it's a great honor absolutely it is a, it is a privilege it's an honor for me to be part of uh, macrashi's team and especially uh, for this major cricket league which is uh, about to get start uh, very soon but uh, the confidence what he has he has in me uh, i'll try to you know to uh, like i said uh, of course i'll be doing justice that the that has been the forte uh, along tagged along with my name basically for number of years for which i'm very grateful uh, to god and uh, my father of course uh, late honey former sir that uh, he had uh, taught taught me uh, you know those uh, intricacies the, the finer points of the game where you can uh, you know be there uh, and emboss your name imprint your name in a bigger way bigger scenario to you know be always straight uh, and uh, be uh, the be at the forefront lead from the front and you know people would take your name otherwise uh, uh, things are very difficult to you know to to walk on straight path in today's world but uh, like i said uh, god had been very very kind and uh, and it's and it's the i who had picked me up in that manner that uh, it's uh, macrashi's i that uh, saw me trusted me and given me a chance uh, for the for tomorrow's generation future future of cricket it is a great honor i must say thank you yes great indeed we also have with us on this interview ijaz ahmed out of pakistan ijaz um this is very exciting as a journalist uh, you know there is another tournament that would well, it's just not a normal tournament it's a tournament that will provide opportunities it will show the domestic players on the international scene of course all the matches will be carried live on mac tv i'm sure you're very excited exactly why not because uh, uh, if you compare both that united states and pakistan when everyone is uh, hearing about the united states uh, uh, sort of investment coming into pakistan so they 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 used to rush toward that even other it's any sort of investment other it's in a sports in, in any field because usa is a powerful country they they have got uh, uh, the most we can say that uh, uh, the sort of opportunities that everyone should be looking for so why not pakistan an open space to make investment to bring some future generation cricketers and uh, I, i would love to ask uh, uh, one thing from uh, uh, shrib bhai so go right there go right there uh, I, i have one thing you as an opener you have played uh, lots of international cricket Pakistan if we uh, peep back into the past Amir Sohail Said Anwar the two quality top order batsmen and openers we are not finding the stream like that so MCL the major cricket league you as a chief selector uh, you surely be uh, keeping an eye on to the openers so that this league can give some better openers to the Pakistan's cricket well that, that would be the top priority but the thing is uh... these uh, intricacies the finer points of the game they don't come overnight these are need to be injected into a youngster into his mind his uh, um, uh, he got to be one track he cannot be a, a student at the, you know like uh, like the, uh, i can even say for the pakistani uh, openers that you cannot be a student right at the top you got to be a teacher when you are representing a, a country so the thing is if one has to take a step back and to feed them those uh, nurture them those things but which would uh, really benefit them in a larger way 
and uh, one needs to you know the, of course i'll be having a word on on those lines uh, with macrashi uh, regarding those aspect of uh, how to um, how to you know be a good opener who can stay at the crease for longer that is yeah. that, that should be the main priority but in uh, in today's cricket uh, you know most of the time you are seeing uh, mediocre technique mindset and that's why they don't last for longer a time period they don't last for 10 years they are here <laughs> and gone tomorrow this is the reason for it but that's it's like a debate. yes And so you you are master of uh, occupying the crease as well. Um, I remember your battles right here in the West Indies with our first some a fast bowling attack, you know. And you had to have proper technique to face the, the likes of Marco Marshall, Joe Garner, and a lot. Absolutely, you need to have uh, lo- lots of uh, apart from the technique and the courage. The defense got to be spot on. You got to. uh fight against all odds especially when they are bombarding you with all those bouncers because in those days you one could bowl as many bouncers they they wanted to and uh, and uh, i'll tell you one one fine inst- instance uh, at gana test i was batting uh, we, we needed 31 runs and i was batting at number 3 and uh, patrick patterson he was the fastest in the world uh, during that period of time in 1989 so he bowled first uh, first two balls uh, round the wicket and there was those were bouncers and the third one i thought is going to be a yorker so uh, you know i'll uh, i'll be expecting a bouncer and he bowled me so this is uh, the all assumption going into my mind and third ball to my surprise it was a bouncer again and i just uh, you know uh, put my hand uh, right in front of my face and gana ground as you have seen as you know it's a long boundary from yeah. the side it's pretty short so it oh. was the first first bounce it went to a uh, uh, cross the boundary line so you can well imagine the pace what we was facing wow and uh, it was the third ball of the first over when, when i went in to bat uh, so those were the fearsome uh, uh, bowlers you had to you know confront so <laughs> you can well imagine what sort of courage technique and determination one needed really I well remember that test match that match in Guyana there was not a blade of grass on the outfield I think they had graded the outfield before that test match and uh, that was a series that was very close and Pakistan I think was uh, very unfortunate not to come out on top after the final right. test in Barbados but I'm sure that while taking up this role at MCL being the chief selector those who you spot with the talent I'm sure that you'll have conversations with them as the tournament progress Yeah. Yeah, absolutely as uh, one has to, you know, see lot other things what sort of capabilities uh, they have, what sort of cricket they had played uh, earlier and uh, what are their aims at the same time. You got to aim right right at the top to be there uh, in that corner right uh, you know at the top platform. So there are so many other things uh, their fitness level, levels need to be checked. their determination their techniques and uh, their futuristic goals and um, and those kind of final points of the game which can you know make them a, a better cricketer for tomorrow yes and uh, of course uh, you know moving ahead with this tournament it's in april i'm sure that you have a lot of work to you know get everything on spot you will be visiting the games in hafizabad yeah. and i'm yeah. sure that um, it's going to be a tough task because you would have to then narrow down i think it's about 11 top players i i, I believe i i stand corrected i think that uh, those will, will will be the players getting the scholarships absolutely absolutely yeah uh, it would be sort of around 11 players who would and, and some of them would be you know given a chance the top two players might be um, qualifying for the us side as well and uh, and there's a lo- lot many things thrown uh, for these guys by vakureshi he had done wonders and um, one can only um, wish him all the luck uh, for uh, for future uh, of pakistan and usa cricket because he's the man he's the driving force behind it he is the one who had car- carried the platter all the way right to the top 
and given those incentives and giving those incentives uh, even till date, uh, which is uh, unbelievable, unthinkable. And uh, I just wish him good health and uh, long life for, uh, for the betterment of the game at the same time. Jaz, I'm sure that you have a couple of questions for Shweb as well. Yes, uh, uh, living in a, a third world country is uh, normally when someone is getting a power and he's uh, sitting on a top seat. So lots of uh, phone calls and uh, some sort of papers will be coming to you to select my guy, to select my player. He's uh, such kind of player. So. Uh, uh, what uh, uh, we are talking here, like uh, Mr. Matt Qureshi, that you and <clears throat> Mr. Vinod are saying that he's uh, a superman. So looking on to him and looking at to your character and your background, I don't think so. There will be any sort of thing. The talent uh, will be winning the race here. Well, uh, the thing is, if you earn a name for your own self, it does not come easy. It does not come overnight. It takes... 10, 15, 20 years to make a mark for your own self. Yes, to exactly. That kind of stature where, where you are in today. And for that, you need to be very strict in all formats, uh, whatever you are uh, faced upon. So the thing is, whenever I've been uh, either the, the coach or the selector uh, for Pakistan team in any ways, uh, or maybe the under 90s and even the Pakistan cricket team, my criteria, main criteria had always been to be very straightforward rather than being um, uh, getting into any kind of foul play. What I've seen uh, through my eyes, I'm sorry to say, but that's the way it had been. But uh, no one can, you know, uh, take my name in that, uh, that sense that I had uh, indulged in any foul play or wrongdoing or anything of the sort. So again... Uh, after being part of cricket for such a long period of time, 30 or years or maybe more, I, do, I wouldn't want to uh, get even a single mark on or a tag uh, um, under my belt for any anything which is not likable to me or to the family. Leave alone a anyone else. And of course, that's my promise to Mac Rashi as well. Uh, the first thing we talked about uh, was... The point, uh, what you just mentioned, that uh, only merit would be uh, pushed Follow. forward. Yes, period. right. Inshallah. Right. Inshallah. I guess that is why Shoei Mark Karishi has gone for you as opposed to others, because he has that faith in you that all will be well, all will be above board. Fingers crossed. Yes, that you would. <laughs> yes, inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, sure. My final question for you is that um, what Makarishi has done is to ignite a passion amongst Pakistanis in the diaspora. He's now getting Pakistanis who live out in America, even people in the West Indies of uh, Pakistan's or origin, they're getting excited and they're looking to invest back into Pakistan. I think that's a wonderful move. Your thoughts on that? It's very... Um, uh, timely decision he has taken. Uh, the brilliance uh, of his mindset, uh, Makuresh, is that he had timed everything to perfection from day one, from 2008 till day two, 2021. He had been executing the right cards, playing with the right card, with uh, uh, going into all these opportunities, fields with the right foot first. And uh, like the time timing in today's world, everything is all about timing. And cricket, of course, uh, is no less. But uh, the futuristic thinking, the plans, um, and laying your cards uh, all around you, which, is, which uh, of course, covers the West Indies itself, the whole of US of A, and maybe uh, neighboring countries also. That would definitely uh, help a lot of youngsters who had thought about, you know, getting into the game uh, for themselves. But now is the opportunity only given by Macrashi, which is a dream come true, which is uh, absolutely an awesome concept. The idea uh, had been um, uh, loved by everyone, like you said. 
uh, where she, players from West Indies are also being uh, getting excited, which is uh, something absolutely awesome for these youngsters, I must say. I want to thank you, Shoeb. I look forward to meeting you uh, pretty soon as well. And, um, you know, Absolutely. thanks for spending the time this morning on Mac TV with us. I think you're going to stay on to do an interview in Urdu um, okay. with your jazz. But I want to thank you. I want to wish you all the best. Sir, thank you. Very kind of you, sir. Bye-bye. Cricket Management Group presents MCL Pakistan Mac T20. April 5th to 11th, 2021. Cash prizes, 10 lakhs. Five teams participating. All live matches on MacTV.com. Registration visit www.cricketerbook.com.